Hello, this is Easy, and this is an update on this plugin called the uh, Key Remesher Guides. I'm going to press here and open that window up down here a little bit. Now, I'm going to have a link below the video if you want to see a little bit more detail about what's going on. I'm just going to come over and show you a few of the new features. Now, when we do certain things here, this will actually unify the object. And sometimes it'll make it small and sometimes it'll do different things and when we do this with the sub tools here um, sometimes things are not placed right so this thing is kind of really designed for one tool so we're going to make this polymesh 3d and the first thing we need to do we need to either key remeshes and save it or we're going to go ahead and just save this one right now very important to save this Because when we save this and we do a loading here, this is going to load the previous one that was saved. So I'm going to go over the next step here. Now I created the UV guides that uh, uh, I did a little modification. This creates uh, guides from if it has UVs or polygroups. This one has no UVs here. As you can see, the delete UVs are is grayed out. long as the mesh is not hidden we can press here and it's going to create guides and press always ok then it's going to create guides there now when we get ready to key remesh this right, we want to go back over the uh, original one well I didn't did no changes typically I could do the key remeshing but the first time I'd highly re recommend to press the load Now I'm just going to cancel this. I'm not going to key remesh it. It's going to take a little bit of time, and it's going to load the original one in. Then after that, I can key remesh it, keep guides here, and this will help fix a few problems when you can key remesh over the same guides more than once. Usually two or three times is sufficient, because if I go to the geometry and I press the key remesh here, it would delete the guides, and I can't go over them again. Another thing that we can do with this, uh, I'll click here, is we can switch over to the uh, slice curve. All right. Now this has a little bit of bug, so I'm going to hold the control key, and shift key, and just click it a couple times so you can see it flashing over there, and that'll help fix the bug. And this does not do symmetrical, so we can only do one side at a time, which is not going to be a problem anyway. So once that's done, I'll press the create guides from UVs. Or polygroups and there it is even though that they're on one side I can turn the X key on then I'll have my other side here once again we want to load the original one and I'm gonna press the escape key to cancel it out and then it will key remesh over that and once again if I want to keep the guys and try fixing maybe any problem areas I'll select this maybe two or three times Okay, we're going to come over to the paint guides. I modified this with another paint guides. There's there are two different things. All right, this creates guide smooth guides by mask, and this creates guide by mask or slice curve. It does actually more than that. Think of this first one of kind of a smooth type, and the second button sort of a kind of a hard type. And I'll show you that in a few seconds. Now, since this mesh is not really dense, uh you're going to see the difference. If it was really dense, a lot of polygons, you probably wouldn't hardly see the difference between the two buttons. So I'm going to put a mask here. Then I'm going to paint guides. This is going to be the smooth type. This is going to create, and this is going to be kind of smooth. You can see that it's kind to, it's left a little boxiness in there. And this is typically what I would not want to key remesh over this one here. Let's check the guys and put that back on there. So once again, we would load this. Loads the first one. I'm gonna press the escape key to cancel it because I'm not gonna key remesh it. Then after that, we'll key remesh keep guides after it key remesh at one time. So let this finish up. So if I select here, you can see this one's kind of got sharp edges. Let me go ahead and display property and double. So if this is 
if this is hidden here and I come over here and press the paint guides by smooth it's gonna put a guide on the open edges but it's gonna try smoothing it out as you can see there Got a little curvature in the front here so it followed but see where the edges are real pointy it's not gonna follow them so this is gonna be a little uh, if you like this or not that's why I got two options over here on this other button so if I select here and you don't have to do any masking so there's no masking needed if I think of this one as a heart it's gonna follow all the way around the hard edges as you can see there all right I'm gonna click here and bring it back over here and frame that up a little bit now remember when I did the mask in the middle here it kind of flattened it out with the first one well the second button will do, won't do that all right as you can see there it's trying to maintain that shape uh, let me go ahead and do that one more time let's see, let me get this back a little bit further here now mass is there just a little bit bigger so you can kind of see and it won't damage the uh, the mesh I'll keep the original one here and you can see it did no indentation or any edges edges that are sticking out uh, if you ever lost this and some reason you want this one back you can click here click the mask it bring it back and this is gonna bring back the same circle that I had once again uh, you can key remesh this keep guys like it is right now because um, this you know I it didn't do any damage to it but like I said, it's highly recommended just to click the load remesh and, and let it key remesh it one more time. Then you can key remesh keep guides. And anytime that you want to just, you know, always kind of mess around with it, you can always just, like I've been doing here, press the load key remesh and just hit the escape keys. And if I want to kind of start all over, I'm click to remove it and uh, you can slice this up whatever you want and let's say I didn't want to you know deal do them all or something like that I just want to do that one there I'm just gonna put a guide right there now if I want to do them all and I already got some already out here it's probably best just to click to remove these then we'll press the create guys from UVs or poly groups. Just make sure that when you're done that your X symmetry is on if it's just symmetrical. That way your guides will be over here on the right and the left. Okay, let's say I want to try a little bit of something different here. So I'm going to go down to poly groups and group visible. I want to leave it at that stage. I don't want any more poly groups. And wherever stage I'm at, and I want to save this stage right here. All right. Um, what's good about this uh, slice curve here is I can force my guides where I want them. Because the other way, if you drag down here and hold the shift key to get it underneath the armpit, it does not like to follow sometimes. So I can force that by using the slice curve. And I can click here, tap the Alt key, do a little corner here, and I can force it to be in that area right there. When I select here, then I can choose, as long as it's got a good cut through here, let me take a look. There ain't no jaggeds on here. Um, I'll use this one here. Then I get my guides right there now if you kind of let me click off here now if you start somewhere let's say here and 
you did something like that, you can see when I hide this, I got my got some jaggeds up there because I didn't go all the way through. And if I press here, remember this one's the hard one, it's going to follow everywhere there's a jagged at. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to click this to remove the guides. Then I'll come back over here. Remember this is a smooth one. And give it a second and it created a smooth guide here. Keep in mind both of these uh, paint guides, um, they both work with pretty much any kind of masking, so just letting you know that. Let's load this one here. I'm going to press the escape key to cancel that out and click to remove that guide here. And turn the X on here. And I've went over this part before, but I'll just go over this one time here. I'm going to mask this area here. And if you want to turn off the poly frames, you can if you want to kind of see. And this time I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use this. You can use a smooth option. Um, if it's really dense, you can go this one here. This is more harder one to see what it looks like. And then you get something like that. And I'll turn down my draw size here. And like I said before, if I mask here and I try coming up into the other mask and drag up in the eyeballs, it's not going to go up in there. See if I drag up in the eyes. I'll do the mouth here. Here. Now, I remember the original one didn't have uh, any mask on it loaded. And if I do any mask in here, let's say right here, and I load this one up here, for some reason I don't know why, but it's actually pretty good. This one will still keep the mask here, even on the one that I, when I saved that first one, it didn't have any mask. If I load it, I'm going to press the escape key. And it's keeping the mask. I'm assuming this mask will stay here when it's key remesh, which typically would be the best if I decided I wanted some mask there for more density. Anytime that you key remesh it, you will lose your groups. Okay, on this plug in here. This is the latest one and this has got the paint guides number two and plus I did a little bit of modifications and this is called Q Remesher Guides version C. Okay, if you don't have it installed, uh, there's going to be two files that you're going to install. That's the ZSC file in your Z plugin folder and there's going to be this little brush right here that you're going to install in the same folder. If you already have this version, just extract the zip file and overwrite your existing files and then you'll have the newest version. Make sure that you got the paint guides number two. And if you check out the links in there, I got some tips and I got some more details about these other buttons and, and a little bit more stuff. But anyway, I think it's going to wrap it up.